Turn this up so they can hear. We are live. Hello, hello, day three. How is everyone? I put a, one of my favourite songs on here, Happy. Who likes this one? Just give you a minute to come in. Really excited, as always, to be here with you this evening. Give us a hi in the comments. Let us know that you're here. Your interaction has been absolutely amazing up until this point. I'm sure it's going to be no different tonight. <laughs> okay, let me turn that down. Hi, Sarah. Good evening. Hi, How ladies. You know, I'm really good. Are you good today? I'm very good as well. Thank you. All good. So today, day three of the Realistic Reset. Today, we are talking about realigning. So realigning with some new goals that you're going to set. So this bit's always super exciting. Yesterday, we created that space in our vacuum, if you like. We created the space like the analogy Sarah used. If you're going to put a new bed or a new sofa in a room, you're going to take out the old one first to make room for it. So we've done that yesterday. Uh, we've done that by releasing or at least starting that process of releasing. It was just quite a quick process that we run through with you yesterday. We're actually going to dive deeper into that tomorrow night at our moon ceremony, um, which we talk about a little bit more later. Um, but tonight is about realigning. So who's feeling excited? Who likes goal setting? Or maybe you get a bit worried about goal setting because um, I hear this a lot, fear of failure, really. So you don't want to not achieve your goals. So you stop making goals. Does that happen to anyone here? So before we go any further, as we have every night, we have started with gratitude and that's gratitude um, to you for showing up, um, for spending your time with us, uh, for interacting with us and for showing up for yourself. So we just want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you who are here live with us, who are watching on replay. Um, I'm grateful to my sister who's making the time while she's not actually in this country for joining us live as well. So much, much gratitude to all of you. And I mentioned the full moon. So the full moon is actually going to be, it's really, really early hours of the, the morning. So like late, late, late tonight. So it's kind of that cusp between Tuesday and Wednesday. So you may be feeling the energy of the full moon already. Um, I've been speaking to some of my clients earlier who have told me over the last few days, their emotions have really been up and down. And this is what we were saying yesterday that full moons can really affect you when you're not in balance and every full moon will be different. So it depends what sign it's in. So how are you feeling on this full moon? Um, just sharing for myself personally, I have to say this one's kind of coming going without too much coming up for me how has this one been for you Sarah yeah I think I'd agree with you actually emotions haven't been too unstable perhaps mm. I've been feeling it a bit more in my physical body but I have to say because I've been in a warmer climate and I haven't been hydrating as much yeah it's higher than that probably so yeah it's always good to reconnect with what's going on with the moon oh yeah, it's full, I need to make sure that I get my physicality sorted as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the full moon just highlights whatever is going on in the body anyway, and emotionally. And the good thing about that is it gives us a chance to, um, to heal it or to fix it or to address it. That's the wonderful thing about the full moon. Um, so yesterday we done that process of letting go. We gave you some journal prompts. So I'd love to just visit a couple of them quickly today before we jump into the new material. Um, so share with us in the comments if, you'd, if you've already thought about it yesterday or you can think kind of off the cuff, what are you ready to release and let go of? Is there something like big that came up for you? What are you ready to release and let go of? Share with us in the comments. If you haven't thought about that one or you haven't got anything for that one, another question that we asked in the journal prompts yesterday, and you've received those every day by email if you signed up for the challenge, um, is what is your single biggest time waster of the year? So what is your single biggest time waster of the year? And lots of you shared um, 
about technology is kind of you know it's very very difficult to get away or away from it's very addictive because that's how it's actually designed um so that is completely understandable um so just while we're waiting for you to share in the comments now I'll, I'll pull those up in a minute um i would say that one of my biggest time wasters is i'm a, i can be a real procrastinator when I've got quite a lot to do. It's like, I can't decide what to do, so I do nothing. And I saw someone else share that one as well. Does that resonate with you, Sarah? Do you suffer with that? Or have you got, I think you mentioned yesterday, time waster is uh, scrolling, didn't you? Mm, I think with the procrastinating, sometimes I'll, um, I'll give the kitchen a second clean before I go and do what I really need to yeah. do. Yeah, <laughs> So it's what are you? Like, that's a what, brilliant like, one, but. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to both speak to you there. What was that, Sarah? I said some people might think that's a brilliant one to keep cleaning, but um, it's not so fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's recognising what you do to procrastinate. So is it, um, I don't know, that you do scroll? That would probably be my thing, actually. Um, is it that you clean a little bit more than you need to? Or is it that you just start doing things that aren't really time relevant? You know, it could be all different things. So just becoming aware of that. And I'm going to share some of the comments now. Um, hello to everyone who's joining us, like Rachel, Anna, um, Colette. I always avoid this practice. Now I'm ready for change. Yes, that's great to hear, Colette. Rachel, yeah. gratitude for tonight as well. Thank you, Rachel. So good to have you here. Uh, Karen says her emotions are all the, over the place. Lynn says, so interesting. I've had two days of really noticeable anxiety and feeling wired after months and months of feeling stable and balanced. Yeah. And I think that's highlighted by the time of the year. So maybe you wasn't quite on point with your diet. I know a lot of you are commenting have worked with me. So I know that your diet's really good, but you probably had a few days off over Christmas. We were talking about this this morning as well. So that kind of highlights what's going on in the body. Hi, Jane. Jane says emotions are all over the place. So mixed. Rachel says scrolling, of course. Um, release hiding in my phone, says Karen. Samantha overthinking. Adele social media. Um, I won't carry on because there's lots of comments so thank you everyone for sharing Helen last one it says feels like the latter part of 2020 started to feel stagnated yeah both with my work my health generally eg lockdown so I'd like to let go of that and that is harder like we need to acknowledge that in the winter months it is harder to let go of stagnation because the body does want to naturally hibernate a little bit so do uh, allow yourself some grace when it comes to that but also setting yourself like little targets uh, perhaps that you want to do for the day or um, you know put some some timings in place for things like I will get up and maybe do a little bit of yoga by nine o'clock or something like that if you haven't got any other commitments um, so yeah really good to hear that uh, Karen also says procrastination is awful for me yeah we've all got our um, things that we need to release and let go of and, and time wasters so uh, today is about embodying. So like I said, it's about setting new goals. Um, and Sarah is going to lead us through um, some breath work, like she has been for the past two days, and a meditation. And Sarah's got a hard cut off tonight at eight o'clock. So I'm going to allow her to jump straight into it. So she's got more than enough time to run through that with you. And then I will go through today's journal prompts with you then. So over to you, Sarah. Thank you and um, thanks guys for letting me lead you through this again. Would you just let me know if, you, if you're if you here for day three and you've done the other two days, how are you finding the breath work? Do you notice the shift and in a, a, in a shift state when you're doing this? Because obviously we're only doing around 10 breaths, but I find that really quick to drop me in the present moment and also really quick to calm me down if I'm feeling super anxious or my mind's all over the place. So please let us know if... Um, if you're off noticing a shift and if you're not then come to one of the um free sessions that i was doing every friday and should be starting again if you find them useful um from january onwards so let's find a position that we can comfortably practice in and remember that comfort is um, different for everyone so we can do this seated as i said on a chair you can get on the floor, you can cross your legs, you can keep them outstretched, whatever's good for you, but just offer your spine a little bit of gentle length. So imagine you've got like a little, um, let's say halo hovering above your head and that you're just gonna lift your head a bit higher to wear it like a crown. And then close down the eyes and just let the breath settle. It's just a moment to say hi to your breath because your breath is what's keeping you alive and it's nice just to give it a moment of respect and uh, 
allow it some focus, focus your attention on your breath just for a moment. And with all the breath work, it's in through the nose and out through the nose, if you can comfortably do so. And you might notice if you've been doing this for a while or you join the last few sessions that you automatically start to relax your tummy and start to draw the breath a bit deeper down so that you use your diaphragm, this um, muscle that's connected to the rest and digest nervous system. We want that nice and strong. We want to be able to activate this rested healing state throughout the day so that we, uh, we don't go into anxious overdrive or we can't digest our food and we can't switch the mind off. So connect with the belly as you breathe in, the belly expands as you breathe in and it deflates as you breathe out. And then we're going to um, do a little bit of embody, embody work with the breath now. So gently open the eyes and then just to hold the hands out in front of you as if you're holding out a cup or a vessel or an offering. And as we breathe in, just imagine this space filling up with energy. Just imagine it filling up with air. Hold the breath as you move your hands forwards as though you're offering it out. And then as you exhale, part the hands, open them up wide, and then hold the breath as you bring the hands back together, back into your sort of vessel here. So it's an inhale to fill up, fill the lungs, fill the belly expand. Hold the breath just for a moment as you bring the hands forwards. Exhale, part the hands to the sides. And then hold the breath just for a moment. Notice the anticipation as we bring the hands back together. Inhale here, we're full, really filling up and receiving. Holding the breath as you lengthen the arms away from you. Slowly exhale the breath out through the nostrils, part the hands. Hold the breath and join the hands back together in union in front of your chest. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Hold the breath and lengthen the arms away from you. Exhale, part the hands out. And then just pause the breath here, joining the hands back together. Inhale, let's begin again. Fill up as much as you can. Fill those lungs up with energy. Hold the breath as you extend away, just for a moment. Breathe out, part the hands. And then pause just here. Bring the hands back together. We'll do this one more time and fill up as much as you can for this breath. As we pause and extend the hands, we evoke a relaxation response. We slowly exhale the breath and then bring the hands back together. And from here, you can gently allow the hands to rest, maybe one hand on top of the other, down on the lap or knees, hands on knees, closing the eyes off. Just try and maintain a little bit of length in your spine without overexerting. And then let the breath settle. We're going to our guided meditation again. And these meditations, they're really beneficial because they help to control our mind. So we're choosing our thoughts consciously. And then when we start to choose what we think, we can control how we feel and then we can control how we act from here as well. And the more routinely we do this, more regularly we do this, the more chance we have of success in having control over our own mind and our own lives and being conscious creators. So let the body relax and the breath should be settled. And we're going to connect with an experience or a situation in which you felt really, really good. You felt your best. Now it might have been over the course of the year or you might need to go back a little further. So take a minute to think about the experience or situation in which you really felt good. See yourself in this situation or feel this feeling and really connect with it deeply. Connect with the emotion that you were feeling at this time. 
a really high vibrating emotion. And kind of connect with it in color and in detail, really bringing it to the surface of your being. And we're gonna connect with this emotion that you are going to consciously bring into the new year with you. And it's a feeling that you are choosing to connect with more. And it's a feeling that you deserve to feel. So maybe you might wanna give a name to this emotion or feeling. It doesn't matter if you can't. And find that name or feel that emotion. And now I want you to attach a color to this feeling. Whatever comes to you first, whatever feels right, just attach a color, see the color, feel the color. I want you to surround your whole body with this color. So your body is shimmering and shining brightly with this emotion, which is now in color embodying this feeling, this colour around us. And now we're going to let the coloured light just sit on top of your skin, kissing your skin with illumination. Perhaps you can feel the bright vibration of energy of the light it has its own wavelength, its own frequency. And then start to feel the colour sinking through your skin's barrier, through the epidermis, down into the dermis. And take a deep breath here as you feel it sinking in. And then we're going to take this light further and deeper into your body's system. As you breathe in deeply, feel the vibrancy of light. As you exhale, allow this light to keep permeating the inside of your body deeper and deeper still. And in your mind's eye, we're going to begin to isolate your organs inside your body. And feel this emotion as light surrounding each individual organ. The stomach, diaphragm, the brain your sense organs, your lungs, your heart. And from the heart, the heartbeat, feel the color flood through the vessels of your body, the rivers, the veins, the arteries, traveling into the tissues. Then let it settle deeper still from the layers of tissues into each and every tiny individual cell. Breathe in, connect with that emotion again. Feel it so deeply embodied inside of you now. In the very smallest of the organelles of each cell. And just allow the body's intelligence to connect with it, holding the light inside you. Hold that light as you inhale. And as you exhale, feel that light beginning to radiate back outwards again. Out from the individual cells, back into the tissues, through the vessels, through the organs, through the systems, and back outside to the skin again. And once again, you are surrounded, your silhouette, the whole of your being is surrounded by this light. And now your energy body and your physical body both know the vibration of energy and it will be open to connecting with this feeling more, with this emotion, with this high vibration that you've created. And know that you can connect with this as often as you like. Every time you see this color, wear this color, connect with this emotion. And take a deep inhale. 
And maybe with an exhale, you might want to sigh it out through the mouth. Beginning to bring yourself back, breathing deeper still. And wiggling toes, wiggling fingers, gentle movement for the body. And slowly, when you're ready, opening those eyes up. Bring you back to the moment. And let's go over to Hannah. Let's go into the general prompts. Thank you, Sarah. That was, how did you find that, ladies? I found that, I haven't done that particular meditation. So thank you for that, Sarah. And it felt tingly and exciting, like just like full of opportunity and connected with some really nice memories and, um, you know, realizing what actually does fill your cup. What is it that you do that actually fills your cup? So let's know how that was for you. A little bit shorter this evening. Perhaps you found it like a little bit easier to perhaps hold your focus or your concentration, but let us know how that was for you. Um, but I really enjoyed that. So thanks again, uh, Karen saying, wow, thank you. That felt amazing. Uh, hi, Lucy is watching Christina, Melanie, Samantha. Hi to all of you. Um, yeah, so let's jump into some of the journal prompts. So whether you've got these with you or not, I've got them to hand here. So you could do this on pen and paper now, or you can just think them through. Um, honestly, we're going to look at them quickly tonight, but I would suggest that you take a little bit more time, hopefully straight after this session, if you haven't got to go and sort anyone else out, um, but connecting with it over the next couple of days if you haven't got time this evening. So the first one is with a clean slate, which is what we wiped clean last night and the new year upon us, what intentions do you have for 2021? So um, we've made a suggestion of five intentions. It could be less, it could be more. And when Sarah and I do this, we do really like to break it down into categories. So we kind of think for the home, what are our intentions? You know, it might be a particular room that you want to do up, for example, or you might want to uh, move home, who knows? Um, what do I want from my relationships? You know, how could I improve those? What about work or what about finances? What about health? Or it may be, there may be one area, a lot of ladies I work with, they really, really want to focus on their health and they've got lots of intentions within that one area. So just start to have a little think now, what are your intentions for 2021? I'm just gonna give you a moment why, why uh, sorry, whilst you think about that now. Why still do that? Sarah, I might ask you, have you thought about yours yet or any of yours? I think for me, it's always related to health as well. So up leveling that. Um, some of you may know Hannah and I have been connecting with plant medicine cacao more and more over recent times. Um, and we'd love to spread that um, message out to other people and really just enjoying it on a more regular basis with ourselves and in our family groups and our friendship groups and mm. um, so I'd like to spend more time doing that <laughs> improving my health with cacao That's exciting. how about you yeah actually it's, when I was just thinking about it quickly as I was asking you the first thing that comes to my mind was the cacao as well that was the, the first thing that came there um I've mentioned a couple of times publicly that I really want to take a trip next year by myself which will be very out of my comfort zone and grown up for me um I don't know how possible it's looking with the continued restrictions in place but that's another thing um uh, just another quick one I always want to work on my, my relationships improving them with uh my family with my friends my loved ones and so that is the next um, question actually which is what actionable step could you take for each intention so again we're just visiting it quickly this evening your first thoughts but actually that often is kind of our gut instinct anyway um, so do take some more time to think later but what actionable steps for example if I want my relationships to be better with let, let's say my children what I probably need to do is invest some time into those relationships so my actionable step might be um, to spend some time one-on-one -on -one with them once a week or once a month or go or start a new activity with one of them um, I've always wanted to do some sailing actually with my son and we've never got round to that that could be quite good if even if restrictions stay in place we might might be something that we can do um <clears throat> or last year sorry this year we tried um sup boarding you know the stand up paddle boards which Sarah's got one so she knows it well but that could be if we can't get on a boat for some reason we could do the stand up paddle board so that might be a way in a relationship that I could strengthen those relationships so um just write down some actionable steps just the first ones that are coming to mind that you could take to um, 
actually yeah start taking action on on these intentions because it's great having the ideas but unless we actually plan for it they won't happen you know what happens the time it just disappears it just runs away with you you need to commit to the actions and you need to get the actions in your diary this part is really important in uh, manifesting what you want uh, there was something else I wanted to say there. Yeah, so just using Sarah and I's example while you're having a little think about that, ladies. With our cacao, Sarah's saying she wants to share it more in our family groups, for example. So we need to get that in the diary. So we might say the last Sunday of every month when we're allowed to, we could meet up and we could drink cacao together. Or if not, we could send them some and we could do a little something on Zoom, for example. Um, got a couple of comments here. Samantha wants to take care of her, herself and her well-being. Colette needs to sort paperwork, fitness levels, start to read the course of miracles oh yeah it's brilliant um to make more time for myself says sean and to grow my new job business lovely and attend a rope therapy course how gorgeous is that to be able to enjoy my wedding planning again as it's been a hard year so sean's getting married in september so that's exciting okay i'm going to move on to the next question so it sounds like you've all, you're all having sort of ideas quite quickly, which is great, but it doesn't matter if it's not flowing for you this evening, just take a little bit more time after this live. Who can support you with your dreams and intentions? Who can support you with your dreams and intentions? So if Sean wanted to do her aromatherapy course, for example, maybe she could buddy up with someone else who's doing the aromatherapy course and they could be her support. Or it may be that she needs to ask for support from her partner to look after things in the house while she's spending that time studying as an example. So do you have an accountability partner, especially if it's um, a fitness goal or a health goal? or a supportive friend, someone to, who can uphold you to these actions that you want to take. And if not, if you haven't got that yet, how can you get this? So who can support you with your dreams and intentions? Uh, with the cacao, for example, we are part of a practitioner's Facebook page and they're really, really supportive. And we have our own cacao circles with other practitioners. So that would be, again, our example of our support within the cacao, which is both one of our intentions for 2021. Colette's going to set the alarm a little bit earlier, make lists. Yep, always great to have a list. Nicola is continue finding some time out for me. Yeah, we've been working on that this year haven't we um Nicola and that has been going really well but although I'm sure it's got more challenging towards the end of the year her little girl goes to school next year so finds a new direction for her future lovely um Hannah and Sarah um with my diet and yoga we are always here to support you absolutely and we uh, we feel like it's our life calling to do that Colette's going to get her husbands and sons to support her. That's lovely. And when you ask for the support, you can obviously offer that support back in a way that your friend or your loved one or your family need it as well. Um, so if Sarah does disappear, I'm sure she will want, do you want to say a quick goodbye, Sarah, just in case you disappear? Yeah, power might be going off where I am. So I just want to um, wish you all a happy new year if I don't see you before. So I might see some of you tomorrow night. Um, I should be live with uh, you guys from seven o'clock for yoga and 7.45 for forming ceremony. Um, so thank you, thank you, Hannah. Thank you, all of you. And hopefully I'll get to see you just for a few more minutes before everything <laughs> goes flat. Okay, have a good evening if you do disappear. Um, okay, so next question is, what practices can you put in place in 2021 to support you living in a life with ease and purpose? So you kind of know, you know, your purpose, you know what you're aiming for, but how can you have ease and flow around that? So I'll give you a quick example. Say you want to get fitter. That's often a, a new year goal, isn't it? And you think you should go running every day. That's your goal. But actually, you hate running. <laughs> Well, that is not going to bring ease and flow to your life for you. But maybe you do love dancing or maybe you love walking with a friend and that could be the exercise that you focus on. So what practices, I'm just going to repeat the question again, what practices can you put in place in 2021 to support you in living a life with ease and purpose? So just have a little think about that now. If you've got any um, ideas that are coming up straight away, Again, share them in the comments. We really, really love reading those from you. Samantha's saying, or Sam, I know you prefer Sam, I need to be accountable to look after myself 
but my husband will support me with my health and diet. Oh, Hannah, you've been amazing. Thank you so much. Sarah on the Holistic Health Circle. Brilliant. Karen is going to use her time more wisely by planning in her diary. Yeah, you're great with your diary, Karen. So do carry on doing that because it really, well, it works for you. But ladies, if you don't already put your own commitments into your diary, so like you'd put your dentist appointment or your doctor's appointment because you don't want to forget about it, you're going running or you're doing your yoga or your healthy food shopping is not going to happen uh, or it's less likely to happen I should say a lot less likely to happen unless it's written down in your diary or maybe you use an online diary your your google calendar that is fine to put it in that as well but it's really really important I spoke to Karen earlier on an accountability call because we've been working together over the past year and she said as an example my husband said oh you're seeing Hannah twice tonight at 6 and 7 30 so everyone in her house knew that she had these appointments that she wanted to be at tonight if it wasn't in the diary especially during this time between Christmas and New Year I have to keep checking my diary to remember what day it is and what I'm actually meant to be doing and going along to so um yeah if it's in the diary it's so much more likely to happen so what practices can you put in place uh, in 2021 Sean's going to be batch cooking and planning for the week ahead routinely love that Adele is going to be more organized at home and continue with daily yoga that's fantastic Adele well done to you hi Cheryl who's watching um, thank you for calling me Sam. I was only Samantha when I was naughty. <laughs> it's only because that's what com that comes up as your name. Colette, um, a vision board, journaling, timetable. These are all fantastic. And also when we're talking about like commitments and, and timetables, be really careful not to overcommit. It's definitely a mistake I've made in the past where I've overscheduled myself. You can't keep up with any of it. And so it all goes out the window. So start really, really small. So if you want a yoga practice, as so someone mentioned that they do daily yoga, that's great. If you want to get to daily yoga, but you're not doing any at the moment, just see if you can do once a week or twice a week. And then once you've got that going for a month, then build upon it and then build upon it more and more and more. So your, what your, your goals are achievable and sustainable because it's when we set goals that are not achievable and we fail that we then don't want to commit to any new goals. So make sure that your goals are small and achievable in the first place. So, oh, Sarah's gone. So you know that you can manage them. Um, and then build upon them. Okay, I'm just reading that couple more here. Rachel creates uh, ownership to a lovely list in her daily planner. Oh God, Rachel told us about this great planner. If anyone's got their own business, where's mine? I think my computer, oh, so my computer sat on top of it. I can't show it to you. I'll post it in the comments later. Um, Rachel, you can put the name of it in the comments, but it is such a good diary. Uh, I sent one to my sister this year. One of my business buddies over in America got it. It's such a great diary and really helps you to be organized. Um, she's still Sammy with her family. <laughs> Sam, Sammy, Samantha. Um, okay, so that is the end of the journal prompts for today. Like I said, I'm just going to repeat myself again. Please do spend some more time visiting those journal prompts because these are big questions and it may not be that the answers are coming to you instantaneously. But um, I have got some some more juicy journal prompts for you. And this is for uh, members of our holistic health circle. I've put them together. I've done it today. A little Canva image for you. Uh, it's coming out on New Year's Eve. So the 31st, I've scheduled the post as long as I've got the day right. <laughs> and I've got some big juicy questions for you, for your partner, if you've got a partner and you want to go through it together uh, to, to do with a friend. And these are big questions that might um be uncomfortable they might be uncomfortable to visit but if you do visit them what it's going to allow you to do is to grow so a bit like these questions you know growth is coming because you're making plans you're releasing these other journal prompts i'm going to share on the 31st are going to help you to grow but you might just need to go for a little bit of discomfort um to actually get there so that is quite exciting so that's um for our members in the holistic health circle and I'm going to share a little bit more about the membership if you love what you've seen for the past three days you want to know more about it you'd love to come along to more sessions I'm going to share a little bit about the holistic health membership with you uh, now just before I do that I just want to remind you one more time it's the full moon very very late or early hours you might say of the morning today so it's kind of between today and tomorrow we do have a full moon ceremony tomorrow it's in our membership or you can buy a ticket just to come to that ceremony it's 45 minutes long tomorrow night at 7 45 uh, the link is on your email if you can't find the email it's got lost somewhere 
or you wasn't signed up and you want the link, just let me know here in the comments. I'm pointing over there because my phone's there. Let me know in the comments and I'll post the link for you in this group so you can buy a ticket to that separately as well. You'd love to know where we got this planner. I think off the top of my head, it's Claire Mitchell and I can't remember the name of it, but um, if Rachel's still here, she can post it in the comments. Otherwise I'll put it here afterwards. So I'm gonna share a little bit. I've, got, I've done a little presentation. Oh, is Sarah still here? Not sure. Uh, I've got a little presentation. So I'm just going to share my screen with you now. So give me one minato and then let me know that you can see this. So can you see my screen at the moment that says, thank you? Girls mean business. Oh yes, such a good planner. Okay, um, can you see my screen that says thank you? So, oh, I can see it. It's just flashed up on my phone. You can see it. <laughs> First question, what have you enjoyed most over the past three days? Is it having some time to yourself? Was it, did you like Sarah's meditations? Did you like the breath work? Maybe you found that a bit um, difficult with any anxiety that you've got. Do you like the journal prompts? Do you like doing this deeper inner work with yourself? You're saying, yes, 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 thank you. Um, what have you enjoyed? This is important for us to know because we want to continue to run um, workshops, challenges for you if you've enjoyed it. What parts have you enjoyed? And if there's any bits you've not enjoyed, um, give us some feedback on that as well. So this was our realistic research. It's the first time we've done this. If you like it, we'll run it again next year. We'll have some new questions and maybe we'll make this a bit of an annual thing to look forward to after Christmas. Rachel, all of it. <laughs> thank you. Sense of community, thank you. Shared understanding, absolutely. Karen, meditations. Sam, all of it. So nice to take some time out. Oh, it is well done. Okay, let me go into my next screen if I get my tech working. So Sarah and I have spoken about five holistic tools that we have tried many many things for our health over the years and lots of them work but what we found is five particular tools if we use them on a regular basis and it doesn't have to be every single day and sometimes you dip in and dip out a little bit but using these five tools helped our health so immensely and they're the tools that are enjoyable and the tools that we wanted to use so like I was saying earlier about ease and flow they're the tools that we wanted to use um, these are the ones that we share so inside the holistic health circle um, with our members and the reason that we do that is to help you take control of your health your mental health so particularly anxiety and I like to say happiness as well because it's so easy to be caught in this treadmill isn't it where we're just going on we're just surviving if you've got kids you're just looking after kids if you've not got kids you're just going to work and surviving but we actually want to feel happy and to do to get happiness, we need to slow down, we need to stop, we need to appreciate, we need to have gratitude. And all of those things bring more happiness into our life and doing things that we enjoy, having things to look forward to. So if we do like yoga, having some yoga that you've got to look forward to. If you do like spending time in nature, having some time in the diary to make sure that you actually connect with the things that you absolutely, absolutely love. So I just put there without needing to do the things that you feel that you should. So like I was saying earlier, oh, I feel like I should go running, for example, I'm using it using it as an example or I should do here I should exercise more but you don't actually enjoy it so this is why you never ever stick to it and then you feel guilty because you're not planning things that you actually enjoy so we want to share things with you that you actually want to do because guess what it's easy then right I'm sure you've had what have you done in the past that you actually enjoyed going along to for me dancing any dance classes it's like it's never ever a chore to get there so that's one of the things that I really really enjoy so a few um reasons oh, I can see it here I don't need to keep looking up few reasons that you might um, be here this evening, so this is what women have shared with me, is they want to feel like they understand uh, or you understand your body, you understand why your emotions change throughout the month. So it's not just linked to your menstrual cycle, it is linked to the lunar cycle. Sometimes those two things are actually coinciding, sometimes they're really out of balance and doing a little bit of work with your nutrition can actually help get all of that in sync a little bit more. But so you're here, you want to feel like you understand your body, you want to feel like you understand your emotions and why they're changing throughout the month. You want to feel in control of your emotions. And so we actually help teach um, how you can get a little bit more balance with your emotions. And that is really tuning into a lot of this uh, lunar living and tuning into your body to its innate wisdom, to what your body is telling you and not ignoring that. So a couple of my clients that I've had calls with today, some this morning and some the evening, this evening, there was this theme that was coming up today, which was 
they wasn't well in fact it's happened a lot in December they wasn't well thank you Sam she loves the holistic health circle um they wasn't well and they was pushing themselves to go to work because that's what we've been taught and we feel like we're good um employees or good citizens um and that's what we should should be doing but actually what Sarah and I help to teach is you to tune in and go actually <laughs> every fiber of my body is telling me different today and sometimes if you can to honor that and when you can honor that and say for using this as an example that you do take a day off work because you're not feeling great you're going to recover so much more quickly your energy is going to recover more quickly rather than you be on this low energy for the rest of the month because you pushed yourself when you shouldn't have okay you're here for a reason because you want to feel balanced in your body and your mind and they are so interconnected I talk a lot about how the gut health is connected to your mental health so if you are struggling with depression with anxiety with self-doubt a lot of this is linked to your physical health so when we work on one we work on the other you're here because you want to feel like your life has purpose and direction. So I mentioned this already about just feeling like you're on a bit of a hamster wheel, um, you know, not really appreciating uh, your life because it just feels like Groundhog Day. So we want to help um, you to find your purpose and your direction a little bit more again. And you want to feel like you found a community and tribe. As someone mentioned here, they've really appreciated the community. Um, so I shared that I think it was in yesterday's live where I was saying, or it may have been on the first day, it was really when we started connecting with the moon that we found like-minded women, women who were non-judgmental, women who were supportive. And that is what we have been cultivating in our membership, in our groups on Facebook. And um, it's a tribe that will help you support you with your dreams so if you've ever had any dreams and people kind of laugh at you like you can't do that <laughs> we're here to say that you can and actually to help you uh, live up to your dreams as well so um all of this is a hundred percent possible for you i think that's really important to say that um this is not just distant dreaming you can have a supportive community that are like i say non-judgmental that are going to support you you can um you can feel happy you can feel um like you've got gratitude and it's not going to be every minute of every day but at some point every every day and this is entirely possible so uh, we want to show you how to, how getting in tune with nature's natural cycles can help your health so this lunar living connecting to your menstrual cycle understanding it a little bit more how do you need to eat before your period how do you need to support your body after your period if you're out of balance um how getting a regular self-care practice will help you feel in control and really in 2020 is a year when i've seen massive changes with the women that i've worked with and that i've worked with my with my sister in the holistic health circle how just slowing down and getting regular meditation practice or it might not be meditation it might be breath work or it might be yoga and committing to that is going to help you so much with your health we need to learn how to slow down because we live in such a fast-paced world and sometimes it's the last thing that we want to do we don't want to slow down but it really is a thing that we need to learn how to do and uh, like I mentioned already to create purpose and fulfillment and to live intentionally every single day so your health and your happiness or your lack of health and happiness is dependent on you making a decision to prioritize it if you just carry on doing what you're doing now if you're not feeling like your health is on track or you're not feeling you know very happy very often perhaps i know i was definitely in that place um it's because you want it to change but you're not prioritizing it so you're not putting the time towards that so we want to encourage you in a supportive way to actually uh, start prioritizing it because when you're happy you have this beautiful knock-on effect for uh, your colleagues for your partner for your family uh, as well as yourself of course so this is the one thing that you need to know is that having a regular self-care practice is um, that you prioritize is the foundation of your health and that might include menu planning that needs to include movement if not exercise depending where your health is your health is good it needs to be exercise Excuse me if your health is not good it just needs to be some sort of movement and i'll mention we've got five pillars to this practice it can really transform your health it can help you feel in control balanced happy and i'm going to go through these five pillars with you if you're not familiar with them all already we have spoken about them in the past exactly how to apply and follow them so very quickly because i think most of you here know sarah and i so i'm just gonna um 
quickly tell you a little bit more about us. Sarah, my sister, who is here up until eight o'clock, is a yoga teacher. She's a breathwork coach. Uh, she's an energy healer. She's a massage therapist, so definitely in the holistic world. Um, her health challenges herself was depression, self-harm and severe an an anxiety. And these five pillars that we're going to talk through this evening, uh, along with nature for her, were re really her cure. And for me, I'm a nutritionist. I'm also a yoga teacher and um, the health challenges that I had was severe fatigue, almost like a chronic fatigue. I had adrenal fatigue, um, suffering from stress, suffering from overwhelm and just feeling like on that hamster wheel all the time. And again, I healed from those, all of those naturally as well, using these five holistic tools and nutrition was one of the main ones for me. So that's obviously why I studied nutrition and why I share that. So rather than just being, you know, people on Facebook and there's our professional pictures, I just thought I'd show you some real snaps of us and our life, tell you a little bit more about us. So I've got a son and daughter and my dog there, buddy, puppy, or just over a puppy now. So they use a lot of my time. That's basically my life, my business as well. So I'm the Nourish Body. That's my nutrition business. That takes up a lot of my time. And I love exercise. I love dancing. I've got a picture of me there. Um, I'm a yoga teacher training. And oh, that picture, me and my husband, that's self-development. I'm always um, interested to learn more, to read more books, to go to more seminars. Um, that's a really, really big passion of mine. Let me know if uh, any of you here like self-development. Uh, my sister is a massive animal lover. She actually wanted to train to be a vet when she was younger. And we haven't shared this with you before. She'd done her training, and uh, not a training, um, what do you call it, work experience when you're at school. And she <laughs> saw an operation and she nearly fainted and then realised, uh, I'm not sure actually I do want to be a vet, but she's got two cats now. So they are a big part of her life. Picture there of her uh, in nature. She absolutely adores nature. She spends a lot of time hiking. I think that's what she was doing there. Uh, the, the bottom picture there, bottom left, is her and her partner, Jono. They love travel. So she's in South Africa at the moment. I think she was in Italy in that um, picture. And then the last picture of her also on the beach is because she moved close to Margate, an area called Westgate, to be closer to nature. So she was in Bromley and Kent before, a more urban area. And she just wanted to spend more time at out in nature she finds it very healing she goes and watches lots of sunsets now she goes for swims in the sea bike rides along the promenade sun in them quite amazing isn't it quite fancying that myself actually <laughs> so Sarah and I um not exclusively work with women but in the main we both work with women we've helped countless women with their health now Sarah's business her own business is called um balanced body wellness which is where she teaches yoga uh, she teaches breathwork courses. She uh, does in-person and online yoga. She does a massage and her energy healing. Um, my business is The Nourished Body, uh, where I do my nutrition business. So I help women um, over a 12-week course to fight their fatigue, fight their stress, fight their overwhelm. We do that naturally through food. And then together we've got um, the Holistic Health Circle, which is our membership, which I'm going to tell you a little bit about tonight. And so in all those businesses, we mainly help women and occasionally men on a one-to-one on -a -one basis if they need help. Um, and I wanted to give you, like, we've had so many amazing Facebook comments and reviews. They're on our Facebook pages. And I didn't want to, you know, wax lyrical about it too much tonight. But I did want to share a couple that have been emailed to me um, just to share how transformational looking after yourself, the simple act of looking after yourself can be. So one of our clients, Sarah, not my sister, Sarah, sent um, a lovely review over by email. So I've got a completely different mindset to daily exercise, supplements and food and how I treat myself. And I've recently started to explore some very deep rooted issues, which I don't think I would have ever addressed had I not found, um, and she's referring there to my, my program, a 12 week program, the exhausted to energize method or the holistic health circle. So I love that, that we've given her the the space if you like and the opportunity to um, explore some deep rooted issues which of course always need addressing and um, we have these repeating uh, behaviours, habits, health conditions until sometimes we do that deeper work. Uh, Victoria sent us a lovely review as well saying she can't emphasize how much she loves the holistic health circle she must mention it at least once a day when talking to her friends or colleagues which is wonderful to hear um, she said after I finished counseling earlier this year I come to terms with where I was in my life I was only just surviving but since taking the time to invest in my health and working with the group has had a big impact I really appreciate the opportunity to be part of the circle all the advice you've given me over the last six months and she's just said thank you so they were they were really heartwarming reviews to um, hear and I just want to share with you some like what real women have said uh, as well and their experience. 
So the five tools, if you don't already know what they are, are yoga, breath work, which Sarah has shared with you over the last three days, nutrition, which is what I share, moon ceremony, which is what we're doing tomorrow night. And we have spoken about a little bit over the past two days and a little bit of what we call higher self or spirituality work. And I will talk about more about what that is in a moment. But knowledge is not enough. We know this anyway, right? This is why we were talking about action taken earlier, actions required. So it's not enough to know, I know I should be eating healthier, or I know I should do some exercise, or I know I should spend some time for myself, but not actually getting around to it. So the, the integral part of this is that you need to take the action to actually transform your health, your mental health and your happiness. And you need to build it into a regular practice. And that's the hard bit, isn't it? So the knowledge, we can get so much knowledge now from Google, YouTube, all over the internet, books, but it's actually taking action and putting it into place. So you've got choice. Choice is stick to your current mindset stories. And what are they? Is your current mindset story, I haven't got enough time? Is your current mindset story, I haven't got any money to invest in myself? Um, just have a little think about what are the stories that you tell yourself that are keeping you stuck right now? Um, and are you going to just continue trying to piece it together, but not really making any change, say over the next year? Or are you going to choose to invest in yourself and build this regular self-care practice and take control of your health? And for example, like you can get free stuff online, of course. If, so for example, you could look up some free yoga. Oh, yeah, I know I should do some yoga. I'm going to go and do some free yoga online. But actually, when you go online, it's not particularly designed for busy women. It's not particularly designed for women who've got health challenges um, or maybe anxiety. So everything that we do inside the circle is designed for busy women and what they actually need. So we don't teach. I mean, Sarah's quite a, an experienced yogi. She can do the handstands and the back bends and everything else. That's not what she teaches because we don't see that's what the women in our membership need. The women in our membership need to take some time to relax, to get out of their heads, to, um, to do some gentle exercise, but not to be pushed. We do that to ourselves enough in our everyday lives, push ourselves constantly. So you actually need the space to be held to actually calm down the nervous system. And so everything we do in our membership is designed specifically for the woman like you and that you enjoy so it's not like oh my goodness I've got to go to this really hard class tonight or Sarah when she does her own breath work practice she does a lot of um, retention meaning holding the breath well if you're suffering from anxiety or depression or you're not used to breath work you're not going to be able to do that it's not going to be right for you so she's doing things that are enjoyable that you want to come along to so that's really really important so we created this monthly membership. We actually started at the start of lockdown. So it's about six months old now. It's called the Holistic Health Circle. And we wanted to share things uh, weekly, monthly and seasonally. So I'll break it down and I'll tell you exactly how it's all shared. But overall, it's to support you to release dis-ease. Have you heard the word disease split down like that? dis ease it's disease in the body so it's to support you to release disease from the body and the mind by aligning aligning you with nature's natural rhythms and aligning with nature's natural rhythms apart from putting us in balance it helps with things like sleep it helps with things like um enjoying the seasons more which is might be something that you're not really enjoying at the moment and all of that's going to keep you in balance it's going to keep you aligned it's going to move you away from some of those feelings those emotions like anxiety fear worry insecurity sadness depression not to say that you'll never have those emotions but you will learn how to move out of them a lot more quickly and how to control them so you're not stuck in those emotions on a daily basis um, and this will make room for how you do want to feel so maybe you want to feel calm maybe you want to feel energized maybe you want to feel inspired so we need to create the room for you to be able to enjoy those emotions hi Sarah hi Rachel Karen says she loves her yoga we love having you at the at the yoga Karen so we'd love to invite you to join our holistic health circle we call it our inner circle uh, we get to work with you a lot more closely we get to know a lot more about you we get to support you and it's an a, a online membership for women so we're going to explain a little bit more about it and exactly what you get. So you get the five pillars, what I should mention, the yoga, the breath work, the moon ceremony, the nutrition and the higher self work. So to explain a little bit more about that and how often you get it with the yoga, you get two yoga classes with Sarah a week. So one of these yoga classes is called a Hatha yoga practice, which is a little bit like more strengthening the body, a little bit of flexibility. So basically a gentle workout, uh, but that's very balanced. And she bases it on the seasons as well. 
and she she um base it on like picking up on other people's energy as well and if we know that it's like december and people are really tired she adjust, adjust the class for that and then we do a sunday night class which is a, a chill out a wind down class which really has not got too much movement in it but lots and lots of relaxation to as i said earlier teach you how to relax calm down the nervous system prepare you for a good night's sleep so particularly good if you do struggle with your sleep she shares one quick breath work um session a week so that's on a monday it's a 15 minute video and that so you can repeat that every day if you want to you could come back onto facebook um, it's also in our membership site we have a special membership site where everything's recorded goes there to watch at a later date um, so that breath work you might choose to do it every monday or um twice a week or every day then in nutrition, I do a weekly question and answer session. So this is every Friday. You've got a week to post your questions to me. Uh, they don't have to be solely related to you either. So if you do have a problem with something in your family that you want to try and overcome naturally, it's not always just with um, nutrition, but I could help with things like essential oils, detox techniques, um, supplements. We talk about a lot in the um, circle, actually. I also share a monthly menu. So that is for a specific reason. So we've got a lovely plan for anxiety. So what to eat in a week if you're suffering from anxiety. So helping your gut health, it's gonna help your mental health. Um, in January and February, I'm sharing some menu plans that are good for the two weeks before your period and then the two weeks after your period to help you balance your menstrual cycle a little bit more as an example. And then I also do seasonal workshops. I feel like I'm talking a lot. There's a lot of information here. So I hope you're still with me and you're following me. Um, I share a seasonal workshop. So every time we go from one season into another, so the next one will obviously be winter into spring. I do a talk a couple of weeks before to say this is how what we want to be eating in spring, how we can balance the body in spring. And we need to do that just before we get into spring. So we have that nice, smooth transition. And we talk about supplements that are good for that time of year. Um, for the winter nutrition talk, I've just been talking about colds and how to overcome those naturally. We, of course, have a new moon ceremony and a full moon ceremony every single month. And then the last thing that we do, so it's two of those a month. The last thing that we do is once a month, I run a higher self session, or you might call it a spirituality session, where we're diving into deeper issues, uh, deeper subjects. So we had uh, one of the deep ones we had recently was looking at life and death and how to be more accepting of that. Um, we obviously talk about cacao, we talk about journaling, creating sacred spaces, we've done vision boarding. So it's something different every month to help you on your personal development, but for more from a spiritual kind of um, viewpoint. Jane saying fab info, thank you. So I wanted to explain a little bit more about the question and answer session because you might not you might be thinking like what, what is that and I had such a nice review uh, I haven't I've just taken out the person's name there because um, not everyone wants to share everything publicly so this was shared in December everything I shared with you actually tonight has been really really recent and relevant but she shared today is my gorgeous girl's seventh birthday and we just wanted to say a huge thank you to Hannah for your guidance as she now gets to start her seventh year happier and healthier than ever after almost two years of constant tonsil stones and antibiotics and the worry of having her talking about having her tonsils taken out and her adenoids removed plus the embarrassment that she suffered because her school friends would tell her she had smelly breath and oh. um, now she has lovely sweet smelling breath and is tonsil stone free and it's a day I never thought I'd see so how we Got to that was this this lady come and ask the question in my weekly question and answer sessions my daughter has this problem and in my live question and answer i gave some advice this is what you need to try it and she went away she took action remember the action point i mentioned earlier it's not good enough just knowing that you have to take the action um, she took the action completely and look at this result isn't it amazing and we've had loads and loads of results like this with um, women clearing up issues for themselves and issues within their family so really I see this as um, a really priceless tool that you've got access to that can genuinely help you transform your health at a very deep level. So to give you an idea of what goes on, there's a lot that goes on in the membership and you're not expected and um, you shouldn't expect yourself to come along to everything because there are a lot of sessions. There's a lot of value here. But this is an example of what is going on in January. So you can see it's, um, it's spreading across three different sheets. But this we give you a timetable of all the yoga, the breath work, the Ask Hannah sessions. Uh, there's a meditation on there. It goes on and on. But you can see that there's a lot of sessions that you can come along to. And like I was saying earlier, when you want to build new habits for yourself, it's really good if you start small. So I always say to new members, maybe start with one thing or two. So you might say I'll come to one yoga class a week and I might come to one of the question and answer sessions 
and get some of my health questions answered. And that's all you're going to commit to for a month. If you don't try and come along to other, other sessions, you just try and start a new practice for yourself. And once you've built upon that, then you might think, oh, I love the yoga. I want to come along to two classes a week. Or you might think, oh, I want to add breath work in now. So you slowly build upon it until you've got these lovely regular self-care practices. And it says there here, as you can see, everything can be watched live. Occasionally, if we can't make a live, something might be recorded in advance, but that's more of an exception. And, and everything can be watched on replay as well. So everything's recorded. Now, before we built our membership, of course, we've done some research and there's not many memberships like this out there. There's certainly none that offer the moon stuff with nutrition, with yoga, with spiritual stuff. We've seen no, there is nothing to compare to it out there. But what we do offer that's very, very different from other memberships that we have seen that are anything like ours, so any that include spirituality or moon, the sessions aren't live and all of our sessions are live. And what our members have told us is that they're more likely to come along because you put it in the diary like, oh, there's yoga at Wednesday at seven. Um, and you put it in like an appointment in your diary and you want to come along because it's live. It doesn't matter if you can't make it live, you can watch it on replay, but you know what it's like when things are just accessible all the time, you tend not to use it. So that's a real strength we believe of our membership is that um, everything's live, but it is still available after if you want to watch it. And this is not just to work on your physical health. We've got that aspect there with the nutrition and with the yoga, but it's to work on your mental health as well, which really helps with the breath work. Uh, the nutrition really, really helps that as well. Um, but it's for your body and your soul. So we are doing that spiritual work. We are connecting with lunar cycles. We are releasing. Um, this is like a gym membership, but it's for your body and your soul. Who's feeling excited? Me talking about it, I feel like really excited. Like you need to come and join because it is so brilliant. If I do say so myself, we just love hanging out in this place. It feels very, very authentic for us. And I hope that that is coming across to you. Um, so investing, yeah, there's a cost to this and I'm going to get to that in a moment, but investing in yourself gives you the community. So this community that you've loved inside this group, we have that people share their trials, but their, their trials and their tribulations. So they do share, they're feeling a bit crap, they share it in the group and we're there to support them and go, it's okay, like this time is going to pass. And then they share their wins as well. And that lifts other people up. So one of our members has been sharing, she's been doing a lovely timetable for herself every week and just having micro commitments. So it might be drink water every day, remember to take my supplements. She's been sharing that. And then that's been inspiring other members of the group to think, I want to do that. So we love that sharing. It gives you lots of support. So you've got um, some of our, our members buddy up with each other. They make friendships. Um, and of course, Sarah and I give you lots of support as well. But what I've personally found is paying for things gives you commitment. So like I was saying about yoga and YouTube, you can go on there and you can do as many free classes as you want. Most people don't <laughs> because it's just accessible all the time. You take it for granted. But when you're paying for something, you feel like I need to make the most of my membership. I must get along. I'm sure if you've had a gym membership in the past, particularly if you've had an expensive one, I know I've had expensive gym memberships in the past. You want to get your money's worth. So you make sure you get along to sessions. Um, I find the same thing if I run a free nutrition session people don't really keep up with it as soon as they pay to do my course they are there on every single call because they want to get the most out of it um, and investing in yourself gives you bespoke live classes so not just access to a membership of recorded classes but they're live and like I mentioned earlier built for the busy woman and what the busy woman needs uh, which is to calm the body down not to keep pushing yourself so it saves you time from going on YouTube or other free platforms and searching for videos that, you know, are not quite right for you or you didn't uh, like that person or you didn't like their voice or whatever it was that annoyed you about that. So let's talk about the value a little bit, because I do believe that the membership is amazing value. So I'd love to share some of that with you. And what I'm not going to do, do you know a lot of people when they do these presentations and they go, the total value is £5,000, but I'm only going to charge you like £50. <laughs> you know that it's not true. So what I want to do is I want to be really conservative with everything that I, that I uh, share with you. So yoga, I, when I do an online yoga class, I like to do a good one. So I would pay 15, 18, 20 quid for a yoga class. But I put up there, most yoga classes will cost between 10 and 15 pound. But let's be conservative. You, let's say that you tell me you can find a yoga class for five pound. I think Sarah's is worth a lot more than that. And let's say you can come to one yoga class a week. So that would be about 20 pounds worth of value. Now you could come to eight yoga classes. Uh, did I say a week? Yeah, two yoga classes. Sorry, you're going to come to one yoga class a week, which is four in a month, but that would value 20 pounds. Sorry, I didn't say that very clearly, did I? 
I think you can catch my drift, but you could come to eight classes a month if you wanted to. The breath work, normally you pay 10 to 15 pound for a breath work class online. Um, Again, let's be conservative, let's say five, let's say you're gonna come along to one, five pounds. Moon ceremony, you're normally gonna pay at least 20 pound for that kind of thing online. Again, let's go really conservative. Let's say you can find one for 10, let me know if you can. <laughs> I don't think you will, but if you come to, I'd love you if you remember to come along to those. I think they're really, really transformational, uh, important points in the month that we need to slow down and actually really connect with what's going on in the universe and what's going on in your own body. So if you come along to two of those, it's gonna be 20 pounds. Nutrition, these ones are hard to put values on, but you know, the nutrition plan, so to get a, you know, bespoke menu plan for the month, normally you pay about 50 pound for that. So I've said, let's be conservative again, let's say 20. The question and answer session, I don't even know what price to put on that. I'm gonna be really honest. You know, that um, review that you've just seen there saying it's really transformed their daughter's health. How can you put a price on that? But um, definitely, definitely very, 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 very valuable and then the monthly higher self workshop where we would dive into some of the spiritual stuff normally that kind of thing online i went to a workshop this week that i paid um i think it's 28 pound for so about 30 pound is normal price for that let's say you found an amazing value one at 10 pounds so i've added up there the 20 the 5 the 20 the 20 the 10 which comes to the value is about 75 pound a month and that's been super conservative like the absolute minimum value is 75 pounds and you can join us for £39 a month. So, um, yeah, I've put there the minimum value is £75 plus the question and answer session. So you can join for £39 monthly. There is no tie-ins. If you join as a monthly member, you can leave at any point. So if you didn't like it, you can sort of jump in and then jump out if you needed to. Um, or you can join annually. And if you join annually, you save two months worth of money. So it's £390, which works out £32.50 a month. And then you are, obviously you've got a year's membership then. So if you wanted to leave at some point, you just wouldn't renew for the next year. So let me know what you think. Do you think that that's good value? I mean, I think that's, sort of similar to a gym membership isn't it a lot of gyms might be around that price but you're not you're not getting moon ceremonies you're not getting um the higher self workshops you're not getting you know all the nutrition information for that so this is how it's going to work you have a desire and you need commitment as well so you only need a small commitment in the first place let's say you're one yoga class a week right so you've got desire and commitment you're feeling committed you're putting your money where your mouth is so you're feeling committed then you're going to use our um, five pillars of self-care you're going to have our support and what that's going to do is giving you i've said proven because we've got lots and lots of members that have proven results now but proven better health mental health and happiness so let me know if that's feeling good Rachel saying it's amazing to have it all. Sean saying it sounds good. Nic Nicola saying it's fab that it combines such a holistic approach. Thank you, Nicola. Okay, so if you're interested in joining, we've got a few bonus bonuses to tantalize you a little bit more. This is the first time we've offered this bonus. Um, it's only available for a short period of time, but every single new member uh, who join us right now can have an express consultation with either myself or Sarah. So if you're having an express consultation with me, it's probably because you want to talk about something nutrition, something health-wise, maybe a review of your supplements, uh, maybe a health problem that you've had and you want to get some advice on that. And we can actually get quite a lot done in 20 minutes. If you want to have it with Sarah, maybe you're suffering from anxiety or depression, depression uh, and you want to, a breathwork practice a personalized one for you the, the right thing for you right now or maybe you've got some questions about uh, maybe some things that you can't do in yoga and you will need some adaptations or your um don't quite know how to do one posture and you want Sarah to break it down a little bit more with you so she can do that on zoom so you get an express consultation with either of us you can choose I mentioned earlier the menu plans and we've got an anti-anxiety menu plan, which has been really popular. It's got three breakfast recipes, five snacks, uh, nine main meals, and it's got the shopping list for the week. So you know what to eat for a week. You can either use it like that or you can just pick and choose like certain, um, you know, um, like dinners off of there and weave a few into your week. So take the more gentle approach. So that is your second bonus if you join right now. And then the third one is we've got loads of member discounts actually, which save you loads of money. One of them is um, a great practitioner's um, supplement account, actually. So you've got access to 
high quality supplements that are going to make a difference to your health it's not just supplements it's some of the natural things like um, essential oils and epsom salts and all the kind of things that you will get into if you're in our membership i promise you you'll be taking epsom salt baths you'll be having medicinal mushroom coffees um you will be embracing it so you get 10 percent discount there and then sarah and i run lots of extra things so we do in-person retreats we do online retreats we do cacao ceremonies and you'll get at least 15% discount. So for our members, we love you. We want to give you as much discount as we can and still make it financially viable for us to run. So we will give you the biggest discount we can for our events, but it will be at least 15% discount. So um, even just the supplement one alone can actually save you a significant amount of money um, if you're ordering everything that you need through one place. So the special bonus, the one-to-one -one with us, this expires on the 21st of January. So we'd love you to take action straight away while you're feeling uh, motivated, while you want to make a difference as we're coming into the new year. But you have got a little bit of time there to think about it. And I just put, if you feel, this is how I feel before I decide to do things, especially if they're new and a bit different. Oh my goodness, what is all these moon ceremonies and spiritual work? If you feel a bit jittery, a bit anxious, a bit scared, um, that's how you should feel. And I love this about your comfort zone. This is your comfort zone. <laughs> if you don't want to grow, uh, you don't want to get better health, just stay there inside your comfort zone. But all the magic happens outside of the comfort zone. So you have to step out your comfort zone to see change. Let me know if you agree with that. So before I uh, round up here, before I finish off, has anyone got any questions? I'll run through some general ones that I've got. Um, brilliant value. I also love that you can continue with the advanced nutrition. Oh yeah, I just mentioned that quickly. So for anyone who's watching this, if you're working with me now, you're on the Exhausted to Energize method, um, you can of course join as a member and it's at this price, £39 a month for you. But you have the opportunity to join as, as an advanced member because I know that you've put in the work and got this good foundation for your health and we can actually do some more advanced techniques so there's some advanced trainings for you but you can also come to weekly accountability calls with me as well um, and that is £10 a month extra so that is £49 a month so if you want to join as an advanced member don't do it through the link that I'm going to share today I will share that with you separately sometimes people that work with me start on this general membership and then they, then they upgrade because they want to carry on coming to the weekly calls sam said about a one-to-one -one with sarah i'd message you about that afterwards sam okay um so drop any questions that you've got now i will answer them but some general ones are i've not got enough time come on that's the biggest one isn't it i've not got the time time is really what you make of it you have to decide like so you've got a best friend that you really want to see you will see your best friend when it's not locked down <laughs> because you want to make the time so it is about deciding to make the time it's about deciding to put things in your diary it's about prioritizing yourself but honestly this will save you time because there's no traveling you don't need a babysitter you don't need someone to be at home so you can go out to the class and um, there's no delays there's no traffic so we're going to save you time if you don't want to show up online because you're nervous, you don't have to have your camera on. Um, you, yeah, no one needs to, no one needs to see you. But I would, in time, encourage you to show up more as your authentic self. Get comfortable with being on camera because you'll make better connections within the membership. You'll make friends, um, but you're not expected to do that. And we have members who are like, I'm in my pajamas, or I've got a face mask on, or I don't know, I'm covered in spots. I don't feel like it today, so my camera's off, and that's absolutely fine. Um, if you've got questions, Sarah and I are there in the group every day, so you can just drop questions into the group. You have our email addresses, so you can ask us that way as well. If you can't make live classes, I think I've answered this one, but every single thing is recorded. It's all in a membership that you can access at any time. It's very organised, so you can find it all. Am I tied in? No, you're not. If you pay monthly, you can leave at any time. There are no tie-ins whatsoever. That may change in the future. Um, we have been thinking about having, like, saying people got to commit to three months so they can see... Um, better changes in their own health um, or you know maybe we do a year's membership in the future but right now you can join and leave at any time unless you've chosen the annual membership then you're obviously um, got that commitment for that year but you save two months as well so it's £32.50 a month instead of £39. Um, doesn't look like there's any questions so my last thing to say oh yeah I need to share the link how can I do that let me oh I'll do it straight after. Yeah, I'll share the link so you can check out the details online. Um, you can join this evening if you're ready to do that. And the last thing that I wanted to say is I love this Tony Robbins quote. I am a Tony Robbins fan. I have been to his seminars before. If you don't know who he is, look him up. But if you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got. So if you're struggling with your health, if you're struggling with your mental health, 
if you're not feeling as happy as you want to feel, something needs to change. And it's really, really likely that this is a thing that's going to be able to help you. And you can kind of try it and see if it's right for you. Uh, Colette says, thank you. Good night, ladies. So um, I think that's it for this evening. Thank you so much for joining um, me, for joining us. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Um, if you're watching this and you're a member and you know anyone else this would benefit from, please invite them to this group. Let them see the presentation that I've just gone through. Um, Sarah and I are both in the group that if you want to private message us, friend request us and send us a message, if you want to ask anything private, you're more than welcome to do that. But it's just to say good night, enjoy the rest of your evening, have a very happy new year. And if you are in the membership, don't forget those five journal prompts, the big questions I'm going to post for you on New Year's Eve that you will be able to answer. And I uh, hope to see some of you at Moon Ceremony tomorrow night and looking forward to um, seeing you in the membership if you feel like it's right for you. So I'm going to sign off now and see you all soon. Lots of love. Bye.